Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be using the Beach Babe Sea Salt Extract Spray. And first, we got to get this nappy towel out of our hair. Crazy, crazy hair. <laughs> So we're just going to really fast brush our hair out. <laughs> I really wish I could brush my hair that fast. It's crazy. Do a little dance break for y'all. You know, when you hear Beyonce, you gotta dance, so. So now, take our spray, and we're going to spritz it on our wet hair, and tousle through it, and scrunch it. I even flip my head over because it gives it a little bit more volume and I can scrunch it a little better and make sure I get it all over. Gotta dance. Always listen to music and it gets me all motivated and going and all that. So now we're going to find some bobby pins to pin our hair back out of our face so we can do our makeup. And first we start with our Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Setting Spray. We just miss that on our face. Then we take our Rimmel London Matte Primer, Stay Matte Primer. And we just put that all over the face and even down into the neck area a little bit. Anywhere where we're going to be putting foundation, I usually like to put my primer. And then we're going to take our IT Cosmetic CC Cream Full Coverage Foundation that I absolutely love because everybody knows if you've seen my other videos, it covers a lot of my imperfections that I do not like. And it really covers really well, so I like it. So we're going to take our stippling brush and just push that into our face really quick. <laughs> and then I show you one side of my face compared to the side that does not have makeup. Good. Nah. So let's finish that other side up so it'll all be looking good. And we're just going to finish up our foundation. And then we will do a little tousling with our hair, dance break, and then our eyebrows. This is the NYC Coal Liner and Brow Pencil in the shades Hope. And we also get our e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel, which is not really clear anymore because I've used it so much, so it's kind of tinted now. And we just brush our eyebrows really good with that brow gel first. I always like doing that first because it kind of helps to set for the pencil. And here I'm just tracing out where I want to fill in sparse areas where my eyebrows are trying to grow in, but they're slowly growing in. Do that to the other side. And I can do an eyebrow tutorial for you guys. Y'all just let me know if you want to see it. I will do a video on that too. And then we are going to take our LA Colors Eyebrow Kit. And it is all powder. And I used a lot of shade just to fill in some some parts that the, that the 
pencil, sorry, did not get. And then we're going to take our Beauty Trends Concealer Palette. And when I find my flat eye brush, <laughs> then we're going to take the white shade, the lightest shade on the palette, and I just use it to carve out my eyebrows and my upper lid area. Not my upper lid, but the upper part of my eye, whatever that's called. <laughs> right under the eyebrows. We're just going to carve that out on both sides. I think it gives it a really good highlight. And then we're going to take our No Name palette of eyeshadow and get this like kind of a red tinted shade. It's kind of a reddish brown. It's kind of like the Morocco shade if y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't remember which palette that's in but there's a color named Morocco that it reminds me of. And I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and just blend that on my lid and outer crease area. And I'm focusing more toward the outer part to make it thicker that way. And we just do that on both sides. Get it matching really good. Just blend and blend until it's how you want it. And then we take our Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm about to screw up my wings here, but we fix them here in a minute. Because it's been so long since I've used that liquid eyeliner that, yeah, it just I'm not used to the, the way it applies because the applicator is different than what I'm used to. And then we go on our lower waterline, or I do, like the way it makes my eyes look a little smaller. Let me finish up that part. Try to fix it a little bit, but it doesn't really fix that well. So we grab our NYC liquid liner. And we just fix and make it more lined. Just fix those lines so they're not all jagged and looking rough. <laughs> Got that done. So next... We will grab our mascara, which I'm using the Rue 21 Beauty, the duo, which is amazing, amazing mascara. I love the way it does my eyelashes. And I'm not wearing falsies in this video. We just do our eyelashes really quick. get those bottom lashes and then we will be doing our concealer which I will be using the Rimmel London in the shade I think I believe it's fair or light I will put that down in the description box all the products I'm using so you get those under eyes the forehead and down the nose is my main areas that I do. And then we take our beauty blender and we just dab that out. It looks like I'm wiping but I'm actually not. It's because it's in fast forward. I'm actually dabbing, kind of bouncing it off my skin. Just dab that all over, get that in, blend it in really well. Then we take our Luxie 504 brush and our Wet n Wild contour palette and we take the contour and just do a quick contour make sure they're matching and then we take the highlighter powder and I just do my under eyes to set that concealer in and then we do the nose with the darker shade and then we take our Kaylin Cosmetics extreme lip tint and it is matte and we just go over our lips
Sorry guys, I love that song. <laughs> As you can tell. Then we take our Model Co. blush in the shade Peach Bellini. And we just put that on the apples of our cheeks. Quick dance break again. <laughs> Sorry for the bad dancing, y'all, but I kind of get crazy when I'm doing makeup. Yeah, that powder went everywhere. It's the NYC Translucent Powder. <laughs> Choke on it. Um, I use for my setting powder. Just blend that all over your face. And then we're going to take the bobby pins out and just run our fingers through our hair. Oh, yeah, I forgot that one. And we just spray some more of the sea salt extract spray on there. This is the Not Your Mother's brand. And I learned after I slept on my hair this night, I put pictures at the end of the video of what it looked like the next day after I woke up before I even sprayed any more on. If you sleep on your hair with this stuff in there, it will make it even more curly wavy. <laughs> Let's do a little head bang. This was after my hair was dry that night. I sprayed some more on. And the pictures will be coming in a second. And I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Check the description box below for all the products I use. Plus some awesome links. And I love you guys. And please watch my videos. Please subscribe. And leave me any comments or anything like that you want. And these are the pictures. I think they are amazing. Thank you guys. Love you.